Okay, so we've got one blog, and as mentioned in the previous lesson, you can add as many blogs as your license will allow just by clicking Add New and entering in the details and clicking the Save button. As soon as you, you've reached your limit, if you have purchased the five license blog, the Add New will disappear until you delete one and then it'll come back. Uh, we're ready to do some curation now. As you can see, I have changed the theme on my blog so it looks a little bit hipper. Okay, so to curate, we're going to go ahead and click this tab here. And now we're in the curation window. As you can see, there's a big text editor right in the middle. And this is where you will be editing your text. And there's a lot of controls on this page, so just let's just go through them all and see what they are. First thing you're going to see up here is the profile, and this is basically your blog. So if you have other blogs, they're going to show up in this list. You can also click Add New, and you'll go back here. You'll be able to add a new one. Select your feed. Um, but we are doing our curation, so... We're going to go, we're going to do some German Shepherd stuff. You can see also your keywords go up here, and you can change these at any time. Here is where you get your source material, right here on this news icon. Clicking this will bring up a list of news stories that are in the feed that is associated with that blog, and specifically the feed that's associated with this keyword. And so this keyword feed is associated with this blog as I saved it on the previous page. But if I wanted to curate a story about Trayvon Martin on that particular blog, all I would have to do is change the keyword and now we have a list of stories about Trayvon Martin in here. You can actually leave this thing open and um, change the story, change the keyword and you see the stories change right in front of your eyes. We are posting about German Shepherds, so let's see if we can find a nice story. The London Free Press. Police seek dog owners. That looks interesting. Okay, so we clicked it and the list disappeared and we now have a snippet of text from that article. The title of the article here and the title contains a link to the article and so does this and this also contains a link to the article so we've quoted a small s snippet of that article with the title and the link and the source attribution so we really don't want to mess with that unless maybe we want to add some more of the original source text here if we feel like it but mainly we, we, what we want to do is type our curation here and here delete this red text this guide text and possibly add an image and a or a video or something like that additionally when you select the article the title of the article ends up in this box right up here and you can edit that before you do your posts and this editor is very cool, and I'm sure you've seen it before. Uh, you can It has all the standard uh, icons that are used on WordPress and across the web and also on Microsoft Word. You've got bold, italic, underline, strike through, ordered list, unordered list. This is find and replace. This is uh, switching to the source. You can actually edit the HTML and go back to the YZ wig, the what you see is what you get editor. You can put in smileys or special characters and change the style and uh, you can also uh, add an, an image URL here if you want to, add an image in or edit an image if you've got one in there. What you're going to also want to do is take a look at the original article. 
So you can actually go to this tab here, article, click on it, and there you will see the original article. And you can take a look at it and go back here and compare what you've got in here by Alex Weber. Police are looking for owners. The victim had her dog off the leash in Pottsburg. So that's really isn't in here so you may want to take this entire bit here go back here and maybe um, just paste that in here and you got something about a husky dog named Oreo so you might want to write up here change your title to huh. Oreo the husky whatever and then you might want to do your creation something like okay I've added some silly little curation here just to show you what to do I'm gonna delete this red text and I'd like to get an image for this so um, I'm gonna click on the images tab as you can see, we do have some of the images that are available from the page. Not all of these images on this page are completely generated by HTML. Some of them are scripts, so that's why they're not showing up here. Other articles, you'll see all the images. But the thing is, we don't really want to use these images, but uh, you, you can. Um, I'm in the music business, so sometimes I curate a lot of articles for musicians, and they don't mind if I take their pictures and post them around. So I've got this here for me to copy and paste, but it's not as easy as our other images. Now, let's say I want to go to Wiki here and find a nice picture of a German Shepherd. So there's quite a few of them, and they automatically come up because that's my keyword. So you can scroll through the pages some really nice pics of German Shepherds here. I'm just going to pick one. Let's see. This one's a good one. Okay, click on him. And uh, that's a handsome dog. Okay, so just for the heck of it, let's research the attribution in here and see um, what's the deal with this picture. Okay, I open it up. It's in Wiki Commons. and gives you information about the picture and then finally licensing this work has been released into the public domain by its author B Burton at the Wikipedia project this applies worldwide B Burton grants anyone the right to use this work for any purpose without any conditions blah 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 okay so we're totally good with this one so just go ahead and I'm going to go back to my article Here's a little trick that I do is I click here and then I click the center. So my cursor's right here in the center. Now I'm going to go back to this and I'm going to click insert into post. And you can see it's nice and centered right in my post. And I can click on this, click on this image applet. This comes up. I already have my keyword in the alternative text here. You can uh, edit that or whatever. You should have some alternative text. You can also click, uh, if you want this picture to be a link to something, all you have to do is put the URL in here. Also, you can change the style of the image, like if you want to make it float left or something, you just write it in there. And OK. so. Now, um, it's a good idea to have one image, at least one image with your post, because these themes that accept the posts, um, often they will take the image on the page and use it as a thumbnail on the front page of your curation type themes. So it's a good idea to have an image. And you can also then uh, do a video as well. I like to do that. So let's take a look at the videos here. Okay, YouTube has a lot of cool videos about German Shepherds and stuff like that. So there's a cute one.
My puppy owns German Shepherd. These are all YouTube videos. We can open this up and, you know, do our little research here and see. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That's a good one. So, anyway, that's a cute, really cute video. And um, we can uh, share it. It's got embed code here. There's no you know big copyright thing or anything like that so we can just go ahead and insert into post and I didn't uh, well it's already in the centered uh, div that we got from the other one so now we've got the um, I might want to write something about this. okay alright so let's see we're happy with this post right here and now we're going to go down and uh, we've already looked through editor we've seen the article we've s by the way on this article i don't see anything on this article that says you know do not repost or uh, severe penalty for recopying well there's all rights reserved down here um I do think I would have to have an attorney to tell me, the, you know, for sure, but I do believe that uh, there is a fair use policy which allows you to, you know, take a tiny snippet and give full credit and a link back. And, in fact, they do like that because it gets them more traffic. Okay, so we've seen the article, we've seen the images, uh, videos, my blog. Okay, now... Now we're going to go ahead and post this baby. We're going to select our category. If for some reason you get to this page and this is empty, it's probably because your blog login is not good. Okay, so I'm going to just go here and uh, put this under mm, anecdotes. Anecdotes is fine for this one. And we'll leave it on today's date. And we click post. And it's success, it was posted here. We can go to my blog. And there it is. Oreo the Husky bit of woman. Uh, and this is how we give our attribution. We've got the link back to the original content. We've got our curated content. We've got our own comments. We've got our wonderful free copyrighted image free uncopyrighted images and a really nice YouTube video with our you know final closing now we might have a Facebook share thing down here or something like that I haven't installed that on in this blog because it's just a test but um, that's and that's how we do this and the the final step is to open the blog up in its own window and just see what it looks like and uh, there you go and you can click on the, f the front page and there you see how these um, really nice themes work they take the image and they put it on the front page as a thumbnail link back to the original article so it's very nice if you get the right theme it really works for you